Hello everyone and welcome back to another Pricey P Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to script with the help of the new Roblox AI Code Assist. This new feature is still a beta feature, so let's go and enable that beta feature first. We're going to click on File, Beta Features. You're going to look for AI Powered Code Completion. You can see I already have it, so I have a check mark here. But if you don't already have it, just put a check there, click Save, and it's gonna ask you to restart studio. Just click on restart. Once it's all done, open up studio and let's get started. Here inside studio, I have a part. Now let's go to that part. We're gonna add a script and let's see if we can ask the AI to do something for us. How about we're gonna do dash dash wait for 10 seconds. And we're just gonna give it a few seconds. Let's see what happened. And it doesn't seem like it's doing anything. As of right now, you're going to need to have some code inside your script first before the AI can help you. So let's put in some code. How about we declare the part? We're going to say local part equals to script dot parent. And then we're going to give it a task weight of 10 seconds. And now let's try and ask the AI to do something for us now. So we're going to do dash dash. And we're going to say, um, how about change the part color to red. And we're waiting for a few seconds. And there it is. You see the AI has offers some code. If you want to accept it, just press tab to accept the code. And now let's play and take a look. See if the code works. So originally our part is blue and we're going to give it 10 seconds and the part changes to red. That worked. Let's now go down here and we're going to put in dash dash again and we're going to say wait for five seconds. Remember we tried this earlier and it did not work when the script was empty and now it works. So again, press tab to accept the code. How about I'm going to go down here. I'm going to say make the part explode. Let's see what happened. Give it a few seconds and it goes part destroyed. All right, that seems good enough. It's not the uh, it's not exactly what I want. What I wanted was to for it to add an explosion into the part, but th this will destroy the part. And again, we're going to press tab to accept the code. Let's play again and take a look. So it's going to take about 10 seconds to uh, for the part to change to red. And then it's going to wait for 5 seconds and the part should disappear. And there it goes. How about we ask it to write a function first. So we're going to say write a function to rotate an object by one degree in the Y axis. Let's see if it can do it. Oh, there it is. That's our function. Let's press tab to take it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this function up to the top here. I'll insert it here. Instead of this, I'm going to call that function. So I'm going to say rotate and I'm going to pass in my part. And even better, let's put this inside a while loop. So I'm going to do a while task weight of one second do. And then I'm going to cut this and paste it into here. Let's play and take a look. There's our part. It's going to take 10 seconds or maybe 5 seconds. I, I don't know, 10 seconds to change the color. And there it goes. It's rotating. It's ticking like a clock.
before we end today's tutorial, I just want to point out one thing. If you want to force it to go faster, like say if you don't want to wait for a few seconds for the system to come back to you, you can do alt and backslash to force it to go faster. Let's say if we do dash dash, wait for three seconds, and then I do alt backslash, and it happens right away. Everyone, that's our tutorial for today. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again soon in our next tutorial. Take care, everyone.